Hello everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal and I am a first year dental student at Marquette University School of Dentistry. And I kind of just share a lot of pre-dental tips and kind of take you along my dental school journey on this channel. So if you want to stick around, make sure to subscribe. But this week I thought it would be fun to kind of just take you along my week. We have a lot of like really exciting things happening this week and some things that I've never gotten to do. So. I thought it would be fun to kind of just share that with you. Um, it's actually Monday afternoon. I didn't get a chance to really just like introduce this video this morning, but um, we have had a full day of classes. We had, well, actually not a full day of classes. We had a few breaks in between, um, but we had our oral biology class this morning from nine to 10. And before that, I kind of just woke up and like did some work in the morning and kind of just studied a bit and then we had a good chunk in between to do some work so i sat with some friends and kind of just studied for a bit and ate lunch and then we had our dental disease and diagnosis class and actually really luckily um our professor emailed us in the afternoon was like, hey, the professor that's supposed to guest lecture today is actually sick. So we didn't actually have a lecture, which is really nice. We just had our quiz and then a lab portion. And the lab was actually really exciting. We got to just go up in the clinic and just look in each other's mouths. <laughs> so we, I practiced like you kind of just got to practice like patient operator positioning and just retracting someone's cheek. We honestly just had like a mirror and an air water syringe in our hands. So nothing too crazy, but we kind of just got to practice on each other. Obviously working on a human being and actually working in someone's mouth is so much different than using the mannequin. So it was really fun and I thought it was pretty exciting. So I was the patient for some of my classmates and then um, they were the patients for me. So. It was really exciting, it was really fun. And so now it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock-ish. And um, I'm just gonna kinda get some work done tonight. And later I am going out to dinner with my family. So that'll be really fun. So I am excited to take you along this week. All right, so I just changed into some comfy clothes just so I can be in the mindset to study. And also because we were working on people, I wanted to kinda change out of, out of those scrubs and just toss them in the laundry. But um, I wanted to just go over like what all I have going on this week. I'll also insert a screenshot of like my schedule, but just like going over like exams and quizzes that we have coming up this week. So as I said, today we had a dental disease class and then we also had some microbio quizzes that were due except finished them already. So done, over with. And um, this week also something that's exciting that's happening. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to go, but um, we have a lot of filmings for the ASDA Christmas video. So if you didn't know, Marquette University School of Dentistry's ASDA, we put out a Christmas video every year and it's usually really popular. It gets like, I don't know, I think like one of them has like 6 million views, it's crazy. So I went to one filming already. So I'm not too worried about getting to one because um, this week is pretty busy, so we'll see though if I can make it to one that would be like really, really fun. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of like what today, tomorrow we don't really have anything going on. We have like a neuro um, review session, but nothing too crazy. I'm also looking at my schedule here just to make sure I don't miss anything. But um, on Wednesday, we have a histology lab exam. Um, so that's our third and final um, lab exam for that class, which is really nice. And those are pretty, usually pretty easy. Like you can kind of just review stuff and look at the pictures and kind of figure out what everything is. So that's pretty good. And then Thursday is a big day. We have a dental anatomy practical. We have a dental anatomy um, quiz or exam thing. It's like 10 questions, so not really an exam, but he calls them an exam. So we have that. And then we have a microbio group assessment. So. That's on Thursday. Um, we also have a, another review session for neuro, which will be really nice because on Friday is our neuro exam, which is a huge thing this week. Um, usually, I honestly like, usually at this point in the week feel a little bit more confident about neuro, but I have a lot of work to do because I didn't get too much done over Thanksgiving break. So, which was definitely a good and a much needed break, but I definitely have a lot of work to do for neuro this week. 
So um, this exam is basically on all of the cranial nerves really going into depth. Um, so he kind of puts it as like, you know, you always hear about the cranial nerves and you think, okay, like, you know the names of them, you know if they're motor, sensory, or both. But that's kind of it. That's usually where anatomy classes stop. And we went in depth, I think we had one lecture on like, most we had seven lectures total and obviously 12 cranial nerves so we had we were we really went in depth and we have two more lectures this week that'll kind of pull everything together because this professor really likes to integrate things across the board so he won't ask you questions about like one specific thing but he'll be like okay how do these three things connect so you really need to be able to learn this stuff and then also integrate everything so um that'll definitely be the big thing that i'm focusing on this week is neuro so um i'm gonna take this time though i have a few hours before i go to dinner um with my family and my boyfriend and some extended family that's here from out of town so i have a few hours that i'm gonna sit and study and get some work done Okay, so it has been a hot minute since we've talked. It's already Wednesday, which I can't even believe. I feel like this week is flying by. But um, a little recap of yesterday, because I don't think I got to talk at all yesterday. Um, so I saw my first patient, which is so exciting. As I said, kind of at the beginning, we have a radiology rotation, or I had my radiology rotation this week. And so I got to see two patients and it was nice. We like tag teamed it a bit. So it was me and another person in my class and we took a full um, FMX, so 18 photos and 18 radiographs of each patient. So it was really cool and exciting and it's definitely building my confidence in being able to work with patients and doing these little interactions kind of just reminds me of like what I'm working towards because sometimes when I'm sitting in all of my didactic courses, it's kind of hard to remember what I'm working towards. So. It was really fun. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that much work done yesterday though. Um, I was at the school until 4.30 and then we had a neuro review session from six to seven, but it honestly ended up being like 6.30 to 7.30. Um, so I didn't get back home until eight. And by that time, I was honestly exhausted. I got a little bit of work done and I had a headache. So like, it was just, didn't get much work done, but so today my goal is just to like grind out a ton of work. So we're actually already done with classes for today. Um, I had three classes this morning, which were um, histology lab, foundations of oral health and neuroanatomy. So finished those three and now I am at um, just a place on campus that I used to study at all the time when I was an undergrad here but um i am just here and i'm probably gonna stay here it's about two o'clock right now i'm probably gonna stay here until like six or seven just so i can grind out a ton of work and like get a ton done um because as i said didn't get much work done yesterday so i have a lot a lot a lot of neuro to do and a lot to learn right now so that is what we're gonna be doing for the next few hours also today when I'm filming this, it is December 1st, which I'm sure as most of you know is decision day or acceptance day, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, if you don't know, it's the first day that dental schools can reach out to students and tell them their application decisions. So tell them that they're accepted. And this is like such an exciting day. I remember mine last year. It's like Christmas morning, honestly. 
but I just wanted to say congratulations to everyone who has gotten accepted. It is such a huge accomplishment and it is, it's just like there's so much pressure on today because I know that this is really like what your entire dental or your pre-dental journey has really led up to. So it's such a huge accomplishment and you should be so, so proud of yourself and I'm really proud of you. Um, and definitely let me know. I would love to celebrate with you. So let me know in the comments if you've gotten in anywhere. I would just love to celebrate. And if you haven't heard anything back from any schools yet, just remember that it's really, really early in the cycle. And I know that sounds cliche, but truly it is just December and there is a whole like six to nine months that are in between today and when you could potentially start dental school. That's a lot of time. And there's a lot of interviews and a lot of acceptances that are still to come from schools. So don't be discouraged and just keep trying, keep working hard. All of your hard work, I promise, will pay off one day. So I am still sitting here in the same spot. It's about 4.45 now and it's really dark outside. It's very sad, but um, I just wanted to share that. So when I went out to dinner on Monday, my uncle was there and he is a physician in the area. And so I was telling him about my neurocranial exam and how, um, you know, like just like he was asking what's on it and stuff like that, because of course this is a lot of stuff that he's learned in medical school, especially he is a neurologist. So that's like really, really his niche. Um, and so he was quizzing me on some stuff and I didn't know it. And so he told me on Monday that he would dig up one textbook that he had. He was like, yeah, it's one of my textbooks that I've kept from medical school because it's such a good textbook. Um, granted, you know, he went to school in like, the 70s maybe like pretty early um but he just came by he texted me i thought he was joking honestly of giving me his textbook but he really did he texted me just now and he's like hey where are you i'm gonna drop off this textbook for you um so he even he even bookmarked the pages for me which is literally amazing so he sent he gave me this one book um this one honestly looks brand new like i wouldn't be surprised if it was like something that's made a little newer than when he was in medical school yeah this was made in 2002 so i'm sure he got this a little later um to prep for boards but he uh bookmarked a page for me uh telling me he told me that this one is all of the pathways of the cranial nerves and then what foramen they come out of so that's pretty helpful and i'm probably gonna like review that and then he said if i really want to go in depth this is definitely an old textbook, but he uh, has a cover on it too. Um, but again, he bookmarked the page for me and he said that this one goes more into like the clinical side of like what um, each cranial nerve does and how different lesions can kind of affect each one, which is kind of on our exam, but not really, like not super in depth. Um, but that's more of like the clinical side of it. So it's kind of cute. He also brought me cookies. So he told me he baked them, but he definitely did not. He was joking, but um, so yeah. So that was really sweet of him to stop by. <laughs> Alright, so it is Thursday evening now and I feel like this week has literally just been flying by, but probably because I've been studying so much and my head has just been in a book all week. But um, this morning we had dental anatomy and so I had a quiz, which went pretty well, and then I had a practical and right now all of our practicals are just wax ups of geometric shapes. So cubes, cones, cylinders, this morning we did a cylinder. And then next semester in our dental anatomy class, which is more focused on occlusion, we do 
practicals of actual wax ups of teeth. So um, it's kind of how it just works at Marquette um, and how they kind of just develop our hand skills. But we had that this morning and then we had histology lecture and a microbiology group quiz. So that went pretty well. And then I ended up staying at the library after class and staying there until our neuro review session. So it's basically been my day. I came home and just like ate some dinner and um, probably gonna go to bed really, really early today because our exam tomorrow is actually at 7 a.m. He likes to give us a lot of time because he doesn't want like time to be the main factor that hinders us from doing well. And so he gives us two whole hours to take the exam, which means that we have to be there at seven, which means I'm probably gonna wake up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to bed really, really early and just get a good night's rest so that I can go and take my exam tomorrow. And just like that, it is Friday. Oh my gosh, this week has literally just flown by and we are post neuro exam, which is why I have such a big smile on my face. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m., which honestly I'm really glad I did because I wanted my brain to be awake by seven when I took that exam and I definitely think it was. So neuro is done. I think it went pretty okay. The thing with neuro is that like either I'm 100% sure or I have like absolutely no clue. So there were a few that I wasn't sure on, but after talking to some of my uh, friends, I figured out that I think I got a few of them right. So hopefully it went okay. I also went to perio after my neuro exam. And so we went through today, we went through profies and polishing, and then we also did some prep work for a cumulative practical that we have next week with all of our instrumentation for hygiene. So it was good to get some practice in. It's crazy thinking back to like how much I was struggling with some of that stuff at the beginning. And now it seems like second nature and it's so much easier to do. So, um, but yeah, so that's how I spent perio and then I am done. I'm done for classes now. So it's only one o'clock right now, which is really nice. I have the whole rest of the day to keep working and keep prepping for next week. So I'm also taking some time right now to edit a video. I filmed this last week and it's a video on how to choose a dental school. Um, so dental school acceptances, as I said, came out earlier this week, like two days ago. And so I know a lot of students are probably in the situation where they have to pick a dental school. And so I filmed the video. It should be up before this. So make sure you go watch that if you're in that position of choosing a dental school, which is honestly like the best problem to have ever. Um, so make sure you go and watch this video because that's what I'm hopefully gonna get up today. All right, so I was actually able to get the whole video edited and I already posted it too, which is like rapid fast. Um, but I've also just been sitting here prepping a little bit for next week. Um, I am our class secretary and so I send out a weekly email. Usually I send it on like Saturdays or Sundays, but I think I'm going to send this week's out tonight because I know a lot of people are really prepping for next week already because we have a lot going on next week. So I quickly went through and made like a calendar for the week and wrote out our um, email, like just all of the information that I include in the email as well. And I'm about to start studying for our oral bio final, which is on Monday, which is worth 80% of our grade. So I will basically be spending the whole weekend doing that. But at least I have my coffee with me and I have a candle lit here and we're just gonna make a night out of it. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and just kind of end off the video. I know that this video has really been like a lot of studying. And unfortunately, that is a huge part of finals as a dental student and honestly finals as any student. Um, but if you're feeling just any sort of just like feeling overwhelmed and feeling like, you know, there's so much going on, especially with all of these finals, just remember that you aren't alone. I'm feeling the exact same way looking at the schedule for next week and seeing that I have so many exams and I'm feeling really overwhelmed, but you kind of just have to take it a step at a time. So I'm right there with you. Just know that you aren't alone in feeling this way. So yeah, um, I hope you have a absolutely wonderful week and good luck with all of your finals if you haven't taken them already. And if you have, first of all, you're really lucky 
lucky that you're over with it, but enjoy your break as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.